Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing. In this video, we will have a look at the Java index of method, which is used to find the index position of a substring or of a specific character in a string. One thing to note is that this method returns an integer value that represents the index position of the string or the character. There are actually two variations of this method in the string class. So let me walk you through some examples to explain better what I mean. In the first example, we're going to look at the first variation of this method. I will show you how to return the index position of the first occurrence of a character in a given string. So I will start by declaring my string variable that I will call str and I will give it the value of I love programming. And since the method returns an integer value, I will declare an integer variable to store the value returned whenever the method is called and executed. And also we have to know that this method can return both the index of a character and of a a substring. So I'm going to declare the first integer variable that I'm going to call returned value. And now I need to call my method. So I will say str, which is the given uh, string variable, and then the name of the method, which is index of. And in here, I'm going to write the character so I will say P so what this means is that whenever this method is going to evaluate it's going to return the index position of the first occurrence of the character P as you can see here I will do another integer variable and I will call this returned value two and I will say str and now I wanted to return the index position of a substring so since this one is a substring I'm going to use the double quotations and I will say love like this so whenever this statement is going to be evaluated it's going to return the index position of this substring love here so now let me do a system that out that print line and here i'm going to say returned value so if I do return value and then run, as you can see, it returns seven, which means that our character P is positioned at index seven, All right? And if I do return value two here, you, it will return two, which means that our substring love is positioned at uh, the index uh, two. As you can see, i is index zero, the white space is index one. So love, the substring love starts from index position two. So that was it concerning the first example. So now let me show you the second example. In this second example, I'm going to show you how to return the index of the first occurrence of a character or a substring in a given string after a specified index position. So let me remove all this. I'm simply going to keep my string variable str. And since the method returns an integer value, as I said earlier on, I will declare an integer variable to store the value returned whenever the method is executed. And then in this um, method execution, I'm going to specify an index position. 
So here we say value, return value. Now I'm going to call str that index of. So in here, I'm going to specify the character or and then I will also specify the index position. So this means that when this statement is going to be evaluated, it's going to return, you know, the index position of this character O, and uh, the method is going to start searching from index position four. Okay. Now I will do system that out that print line and in here I will write returned value if I run you see it returns nine why does it return nine? Because as we specified four as the starting index position. So it's going to start uh, searching for the character O from the index position four. So this is index zero, index one, L is index three, uh, index uh, two, O is index three, and uh, V is index four. So this means that the first occurrence of our character O is the one contained in the word programming here. So that's why it's returning nine. So you will see that if I change four to two, for example, and then hit run, it will return three. So corresponding to this character O here. So that was it. So now let me also do uh, declare an integer uh, variable and I will call this returned value 2 and this I will say str that index of and here instead of uh, searching for a character I'm going to search for a substring I will say love here and then I'm also going to specify the index position. I will say four here and run. So in the system that other print line, I'm going to return the value stored in return value two. And then I will run my program. So now here it returns minus one. Okay, so the method is going to return minus one if the character or the substring is not found in the given string according to the parameters that we passed. So as we said, uh, we want the program, uh, the method to start searching for the substring love in the string str1, str from index position four. So as we know, index position four is V here. Okay, so this means that if our method starts searching from V, you know, up to the end of the string here, it's not gonna find the substring love. So that's why it's returning minus one. But you will see that if I do like, uh, I say that it needs to start searching from index position one and then run it, it's going to return two, okay? Because index position one in uh, str string is the white space here. So if it is searching from the white space up to the end of the string, it will surely find the substring log and then return the value two, as you can see in the console here. So this is what we need to keep in mind that if the value is not found uh, in the string that uh, we are searching, uh, the method is going to return minus one, as we can see, we could see in the example we just gave here.
So guys, that was it concerning the index of method. You know, how you can use this method to find the index position of a substring or of a, a character in a string. So that was it concerning this video and thanks for viewing and please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing and let's meet in the next video.